anybody who caught me in the hangouts a few weeks back after I got this guitar. Uh, this is the Aldegas Flying V. Um, this isn't a lawsuit guitar, but this is the same same kind of time period. Uh, it is a it is a neck through with a bunch of rash or not neck through but uh, set neck. Um, yeah, so it's not a bolt on. Um, but the fretboard was extremely dry, so dry that it was rather rough. And uh, it was taking oil and just soaking it up and soaking it up and soaking it up to the point where I now have a pretty dark fretboard. But it still seems like it's, uh, still seems like it could take a little bit more. So uh, I'm doing this slowly. Uh, I gave it a bunch of. Uh, over a few nights, a coat or two a night, take it, take it off real quick, and let whatever was there soak in. Just uh, hopefully not to turn it into a sponge overnight kind of thing. And uh, I've let it sit for a week or so now, and I think I'm gonna do another pass or two today, and um, maybe clean up the frets, and probably take this pick guard off and find out. What kind of mess is behind there? So, I think what I'll do, I'll take a little bit of this stuff, and uh, this is uh, boiled linseed. I've got a lot of it, so that's what I use. If I had some of the lemon stuff, I would uh, probably use that. I will just rub some of that in. And uh, then I'll come back and rub it out. But yeah, it just seemed to be soaking up the oil and soaking it up and soaking it up, so it obviously needed it. And supposedly, uh, I guess a few people were saying that this is supposed to essentially create a layer that it really shouldn't soak up anymore. But it is, so I'm not going to argue with the wood telling me it wants more. I'll give it more, but at the same time, I don't want to be lifting frets out by turning it into like a, a wet sponge, so I'll let that sit for just a minute, and uh, screwdrivers, maybe I can get at this uh, pit guard size we got here. go. Hello. DiMarzio pickups made in the USA. Interesting. And they shielded, wow, it's shield painted? Huh. Wow. More wows and more wows. Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, if I can, whoa, well, that was soldered well. <laughs> Let 
middle pin on the jack. Okay, so what do we got? We have JMBC, Seymour Duncan, made in America. It's this one, this, this, uh, this Duncan. Well, let's, uh, there. This Duncan, so the one they had in there. Made in America, Seymour Duncan. JMBG. Uh, I'm going to have to do some research here. but uh, And we have the Marzio pickups made in the USA. Neck 500 wraps each. Um, active coil. Cut coil. So they did... Did something a little bit there, and yeah, same DiMarzio, made in the USA pickups. So, would those be stock to this guitar, or would those be upgrades? Old upgrades. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm going to wipe off the fretboard now. Let me put this aside, and uh, yeah, it's it's all shielded. They did shield paint all inside. I don't think that's factory because there's lots of goofs. But wow, kind of just keeps getting better and better with this thing, actually. For the Squire pace price that I paid for it. So I still have bridge and strings connected over here. I'll just cut those puppies off. I don't know if I can get it in the right light where you can see the actual, how bad the actual wear. Yeah, you can see it there. How porous the wood was. Um, that used to be really, really bad, but a lot of this oil has uh, fixed a lot of that back up. But yeah, it is pretty dark now, and uh, it doesn't seem to be want to taking or want to be taking too much more in. So, uh, that's good. Means I can clean up those frets. I don't think there's a whole lot that I can do with this fretboard to clean that up, like short of sanding it all down. But I don't think I want to do that. I think uh, it might uh, just be worth it to leave it as is and let it keep its keep its old kind of character in that regard. I was hoping to find some kind of dates or something. Wait a minute. Pots aren't more. Oh, where's what do we got there? Noble five hundred. Caps made by Noble. This switch is made in Japan, which isn't marked, it's FTNO1, 
six amp AC, AC switch. Hmm. So Noble Potts, DiMarzio pickup, DiMarzio and Duncan pickups. Huh. Interesting. 